check, check. Check, 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 check. Check, check, check. Check, check, check.
Potter's House, Dayton International Ministries, where we come to remind somebody that Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. How great is our God. Hallelujah. He is great and greatly to be praised. We thank him on today for the opportunity to be able to come into the house of worship, to share with you, to love on you, and to remind you that he can do anything but fail. We glorify him today by lifting up our hands and praising him. We speak out loud and we shout unto him, hallelujah, which is the highest praise. Wherever you are today, remember that he can do anything but fail. He's powerful, he's glorious, and he's magnificent. Just lift your hands up by faith today and give him glory because he is great. Hallelujah. Somebody praise him right there. Hey. Oh, 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 oh,
Come on, tell somebody. I've got the victory. 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 I'm free. I've got it. 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 You know you got the victory. Somebody make some noise in this place. Oh. Listen, you got to remember the kingdom of God is voice activated. And in order for you to activate the kingdom of God, you got to use your voice. Somebody use your voice. Somebody use your voice. Somebody use your voice. Hallelujah. 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 Woo. God. You, Trying to help somebody in here. Oh. Oh. Come on, take a few moments out and just open up your mouth. And let's activate the kingdom of God together. Let's activate the kingdom of God together. One, two, three. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, he's good. He's good. He's good in this place. He's good in this place. Woo. Hallelujah. He is good. Somebody should let your praise rise. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
Joy 
Tell him what he's been to you. Thank you, God. Thank you for being there, God. Thank you for never letting me go. Thank you, oh God. Come on, can you just lift your hands to him in adoration and in praise to him? Yes, God. Bless your name, God. <laughs> the old church used to say in good times and in bad times, I will bless your name. David said, I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praises shall continually be in my mouth. Can anybody give God a continuous praise? A continuous praise. A continuous praise. <laughs> A continuous praise, a continuous praise, a continuous praise, remembering what he's done for you. Remember that he didn't have to do it, but he did it anyway. I will bless your name, God. I will bless your name. I will bless you. Yes, God. Yes, God. Come on, give God a wave offering if you would. And while you wave it to him, just tell him thank you. Whoa, bless your name, God. Whoa. I lift my hands.
mighty strong tower. testimony through your worship right now. God, even if you tell him thank you over and over again, he knows. Come on, from the abundance of your heart. Come on, from the abundance of your heart, let your mouth speak. Come on, release it. Release it to him. Release it to him. Release it to him. Release your worship to him. Release your worship to him. Say, bless your name.
you just say it, I will. stand to your feet. If you really love God, just lift your voice to him. Lift your hands to him. place where you lift your hands. Come on, fill this place. Ah. Fill this place.
excited. Amen. This is a celebratory Sunday, as every Sunday should be for the body of Christ. But we're just honored and just grateful to have those of you that are here in the sanctuary and those that are watching online. We give God glory for you, and you are just one word away. Amen. From your next change, from your next word from the Lord. Amen. You're one word away from about what God is about to do in and through your life. So we ask you to amen. Get your hands and pencils ready. Settle in. Amen. And let's go and begin to praise and worship the name of the Lord today. This Sunday, hallelujah, championship Sunday. Glory to God. Hallelujah, championship Sunday. Are there any champions in the house of God this morning? God bless you. May God keep you. One more time, put your hands together for our praise team this morning. Amen. Come on, can somebody just shout, I'll wait. Come on, somebody shout, I will wait. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah.
tell somebody to wait on the Lord and be of good courage. Wait on the Lord and be, and be of good yeah. courage. Everybody tell them to wait. your hands and say, I'm going to wait, I'm going. Come on, y'all help us sing it. Encourage somebody. I'm going. Ah. Come on, lay your hand on yourself and tell yourself. Say it. Everybody say, I'm going away, I'm going away. Yeah. Thanks. 
Unspeakable joy, I receive. I receive, I receive. Oh, I receive God. I receive, I receive. Now, by faith, can you just lift your hands? And while your hands are lifted, the Bible says in the day that King Isaiah died, I saw the Lord high and lifted up. See, whatever it was, dead. <laughs> and see the Lord high and lifted up on your behalf. Come on, lift your hands. Is he? Is he? Oh, is he? Is he? Is he? He's trampling the water. Is he? You come down to the altar. It's here. Go on and get your breakthrough. It's here. Come on and get your breakthrough. It's here. The water. 
moments of trouble, come down to the this altar. Is. Come get your breakthrough. Hallelujah. Let the glory fall upon you. It's here. It's here. Yeah. It's here. Sometimes you just don't need to say anything and let hey, God, hey. let God do it. If you need something from him, I dare you just to lift up your hands. I am just, dare you just to lift your hands. Woo. Don't say anything, but just feel him. is an unusual God and he's in this place. You feel a tugging in your spirit right now. saints of God and you're going to have to push through some things you're going to have to push through you're going to have to push some folk out your way you're going to have to push through, amen you got to come on down to the altar this morning hallelujah hallelujah those of you watching online this morning make an altar right there in your living room glory to God Hallelujah. Lift your hands unto the Lord and declare, Lord, have your way. Have your way. Your servants have gathered. We're here this morning. Hallelujah. Have your way this morning, God. Break every chain. Destroy and remove every yoke off the minds and hearts of your people. We're believing now, God, in the blessed name of Jesus. Deliverance is in the room. Healing is in the room. 
power's in the room. Forgiveness is in the room. Release is in the room. Wholeness is available. Hallelujah. Your love is in the room this morning. Your grace is in the room this morning. Salvation is in the room. change mindsets this morning. Empower your people this morning. Cause us to hunger and the thirst after righteousness. Holiness is in the room. Peace is in the room. Joy is in the room. Abundance, glory to God. It's in the room. Life everlasting is available to you this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I believe. I believe. I believe. Breakthrough is in the room. I believe empowerment is in the room. I believe willingness to walk right is in the room. Hallelujah. Have your way this morning, good God. Move upon your people like a mighty rushing wind. into your presence. Do what only you can do, God. Have your way. Restoration is in the room. Hope, glory to God, is in the room. available to you now. It's available to you right now. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you for your power. Thank you for your love, God. Thank you for your salvation call. Thank you, God, for those that have come to this altar. They've declared it this morning that they believe. They declared this morning that they were going to wait on the Lord. They declared this morning, God, that they would receive. Thank you for giving it to them now. Thank you for giving it to them now. Thank you for giving them to them now. In the blessed name of Jesus. They bow down at the altar, God. They will arise. Amen. New in Christ Jesus. Oh, in Christ Jesus, better in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Put your hands together and give God a great praise in this house. Hallelujah. Give God a praise. Give God a praise. Hallelujah. Freedom. Freedom. this morning it's according to his word and God said his word will go forth and it shall not return unto him void I 
I dare you to believe it. I dare you to receive it. Trust. Believe. Somebody ought to shout hallelujah. 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 To the blessed name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. God bless you, Elder Craig. Elder Ron, God bless you. Praise team, we thank God for you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. For your presence in the house. Thank you, God your presence upon your people. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, man of God, woman of God. I come to hear a word from the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I come I come to glorify his name. I come to celebrate him. He's been mighty good to me. I believe we can say here at the Potter's house, amen. He's been mighty good to us. Yes. He's been mighty good to us. Mighty good. Mighty good. Hallelujah. Yes. He's been mighty good yes. to yes. us. And we glorify him on this morning. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Elder Craig, I thank God for you, sir. Thank God for you, sir. Just for a little while, saints, I'm not, not going to hold you long. I believe there is a word from the Lord this morning. I'm going to say what he said. I'm going to try to declare what he means when he said it. I'm going to grab my seat, amen, and going to declare that we are champions in Jesus Christ. 
Hallelujah. We are champions in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Just for a little while, I want to speak with you on this subject, a new encounter to greater intimacy with God. A new encounter with greater intimacy with God. Many of you who were here with us on last week, you have the privilege, as we all did, to sit under the tutelage, the presence of our bishop, Dr. Bishop Mark C. McGuire, Sr., his lovely, lady, his lovely wife, Lady Angela, amen. And we thank God for our bishop. Thank God for allowing him to get here safely from Jacksonville, Florida, and spending some time with us. Hallelujah. Uh, and his lovely family. So we give God praise for Bishop Mark C. McGuire and Lady Angela this morning. We also want to thank God this morning as we celebrate the Lord for our Grand Bishop in the ministry, Bishop Von McRoe McLaughlin and Lady Narlene down at Jacksonville Potter's House International Ministries in Jacksonville, Florida. Hallelujah. Uh, we thank God, amen, for the doors that he's opening, the partnerships and the collaborations, amen, that he has uh, begun in our worship, in our life, and our fellowship and what he's doing in and through and around this community. We thank God for all that he is doing and yet going to do in your life and in this house. Can you say amen? Again, we want to remind you to continue to pray for our sick and shut in. Uh, we've had uh, uh, many who have uh, just been dealing with some health issues in their life. And uh, we pray specifically for uh, I don't want to call a name, begin to call a name, because I might miss somebody, and that's not my intention to do that. Uh, but I just want to say a special prayer for our dear sister, Sister Tasha, Sister Minister Chelsea's sister, who had a heart attack on Thursday. Amen. And from my understanding, she's, uh, she's in recovery. She's doing well over at Grandview Hospital. And so we invite you to continue to pray for uh, the Chelsea family. And uh, I, I understood, I heard last evening, I believe, that they lost a loved one who went home to be with the Lord. Another loved one went home to be with the Lord. And, uh, and so people are hurting. People are going through. Uh, we've got so many others. We want to continue to pray for our, our, our own elder, Chief Elder Dr. Bev, and her family. Amen. Continue to lift them up and just continue to pray one for another. Can you say amen? Remember Elder, elder Alonzo and his family, and Sister um, uh, Iris, uh, uh, I believe the niece, uh, has... Uh, passed on, and they will be heading out of town to uh, be with family and friends, uh, and we ask for safe travels and protection hand of God upon their life as they uh, go to minister to the needs of their family, and and so many other others uh, here in the house that we may not know about, and we just want you to know that uh, we're praying for each and every one of you, and we're just believing God, amen, that in spite of what we're dealing with, in spite of what's going on. Uh, that God is still on the throne, amen, and God is still doing great things, amen, amen. Uh, God is still doing great things, amen, and we bless his name for what he's doing, and so we, we lift up all of you, and we just thank God for you and your life. Those of you watching online, we, we, we thank God for all of you, and we're blessing God for your household and for your, your, your spiritual growth and maturity in Christ Jesus as you continue to pray for the leadership, uh, starting with the bishop, pastor, and all of us, amen, here at the Potter's House Dayton International. And it is our will, amen, to be servants of the Most High God and to bless his holy name, amen, amen. Will you join me this morning in celebrating the Lord for our first lady, my lovely wife, Lady Isabel Moss, amen. God bless you, honey. Thank God for you. And thank God for all of God's people. Hallelujah. Just for a little while, amen. I know it's a championship weekend here. Who uh, day, amen. Glory to God. Amen. We thank God. Amen. Here we are. The Bengals are headed to another championship uh, game tonight. And uh, we just believe, amen, that next week, amen, they will be in the Super Bowl. Glory to God. Amen. Don't 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 be don't be angry at me. Amen. If you know what I know, I I've, I've been uh, I've been rooting for the Bengals for 30, 40 some years, 
when they was terrible. Glory to God. <laughs> Amen. Uh, but I stuck with them. Amen. And look what the Lord has done. Glory to God. And so we bless God for the Cincinnati Bengals and all of our NFL players as we continue to pray for DeMar Hamlin, his family, and his growth. Amen. How many of you are glad to see what the Lord is doing in DeMar Hamlin's life? Amen. After that very, very serious incident, hallelujah, on Monday night football where he uh, lost. His, he said, come in. He, he, they brought him back to life. Amen. The Lord brought him back to life through special and our special responders and the great work that they do. We thank God for our first responders. Hallelujah. If you will, turn with me this morning to uh, the book of Corinthians. Hallelujah. First Corinthians chapter 15. I'm going to look at verse 10. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 10. Can I switch the mic? Switch. Let me one, two, three. <clears throat> Let me have that mic. Thank you. Bless your Lord. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hallelujah. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 10. Those that are able to stand with us, won't you stand at the reading of God's word as it is a custom here at the Potter's house. We got some birthdays in the house. Any birthdays in the house this week? Any birthdays? Amen. Let me see your hand. Amen. We want to say happy birthday to you. Uh, uh, Mama Patsy, uh, I know your birthday is coming up uh, this week, I believe. Is that right? <laughs> Amen. On the 2nd, on February the 2nd. Amen. So we're celebrating Mama Patsy uh, as we celebrate her her life and her a new year. And uh, the, she walking into a new birthday. We thank God for that. Amen. Hallelujah. What a joy it is. Amen. <laughs> happy birthday to you, Mom. Happy birthday to all of you. Amen. The Word of God reads as follows. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 10. But by the grace of God, I am what I am. I, I, could, I could stop right there, really. I mean, you know, that right there, there's, there uh, we can preach forever on just on that alone. Amen. But by the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace, which was bestowed upon me, was not in vain. Glory to God. Tell your neighbor, he, it, 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 wasn't no, it wasn't no happenstance. Amen. He meant to grace me. Come on, glory to God. He, he, he meant to grace you. But I labored more abundantly than they all. Yet not I, but the grace of God which was with me. Hallelujah. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Put your hands together for the word of God this morning. <clears throat> Hallelujah. We've prayed, we've sung, we've glorified him, we've exalted him, and now we want to hear from him. As we look to his holy word this morning, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. No, no, no. I said, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. We shouted, we shouted, we said we believe, we said we receive. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's a lot going on. We talked about all those that are sick and the shut in. We talked about all that's going on around the world. We've had over 39 mass shootings here in America since January the 1st. Uh, we've had, amen, just uh, on this week alone, we've had six, hallelujah, mass shootings. We've had 
amen, synagogues of our Jewish community, brothers and sisters, attacked over in Israel and right here in the United States. Over four synagogues attacked in New York City just this weekend. Things are happening all around the world, amen, and yet I hear God saying, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Here we are 29 days into this new year and we're mourning the death of Tyree Nichols, another young black man killed by Memphis police officers. We're mourning mass shootings, amen, and, 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 and synagogue attacks, amen, and all kind of things happening around the world. COVID still, amen, on the rise, glory to God, and people still dying of all kind of sickness and disease, amen. And yet I hear God saying, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This ain't a time, amen, to mourn, amen, and to wave the white flag. This is the time, amen, to take on the banner of Jesus Christ and declare, amen, for God I live and for God I die. This is the day, glory to God, that we shall rejoice and be glad in him. Hallelujah, I heard my bishop say just on the last week, amen, he said, amen, I need a new encounter with God. And I don't know about you, my friends, amen, but you ought to go ahead and just declare that with me, amen, as we did when the bishop was here. I need a new encounter, glory to God, with God. One of the things, amen, that the Spirit of the Lord has been impressing upon me over the last few weeks, I'm reminded of Dion Warwick, who penned uh, this Song And in 2019, she penned this version that said, what the world needs now is love, sweet love. It's the only thing that there's just too little of. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. No, not just for some, but for everyone. Lord, we don't need another mountain. There are mountains and hillsides enough to climb. There are oceans and rivers enough to, to cross, but uh, uh, enough to last till the end of time. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. It's the only thing that there's just too little of. The world needs now is love, sweet love. No, not just for some, but for everyone. And I believe, man and woman of God, this morning, that what this song is saying and what I believe the word of God is declaring to the people of God is that we need a new encounter that brings us into greater intimacy with God. Ah, the fact that some of the Corinthian church leaders right here in the text as we've read were already denying the resurrection. It's an indication, amen, of the extent to which false teachings of the very worst kind had crept into the church. And as a result, amen, of the denial and disbelief in God uh, we continue to experience hatred and senseless killings day in and day out because of people's disbelief of God. And unfortunately, my friends, amen, this is not something, amen, that, that has to be, uh, but amen, I believe it's going to take the people of God the kingdom of God, amen, the saints of God, the real believers of God who say you believe, who say you receive, amen, who will stand up and declare that what the world needs now is love, real, real sweet love. Who is this love? The Bible says his name is Jesus Christ. His name is salvation.
salvation. His name is the word of the Lord. His name is power. His name is the blood of Jesus Christ. We need his love. Yeah, well, she was right. What the world needs now is love. We ain't talking about the love that the world talking about. We talking about the love of Jesus. If we really get the love of God down on, on the inside of us, amen, we'll stop all the bickering in the church. If we really get love down on the inside of us, we'll stop murdering our brothers and sisters with our mouth. If we really get God down on the inside of us, sweet love, sweet love, we'll be able to walk hand in hand with one another. We'll be able to embrace one another. We'll be able to, amen, hallelujah, lift one another up. Yeah, we need love. What the world needs is for the real people of God to stand up, amen, and declare enough is enough. Hallelujah. And express, 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 hallelujah, the love of God. 1 Corinthians 15, Paul was insisting in the strongest language as possible that apart from the hope of resurrection there is no excuse for existence of Christianity uh, without Christ my friend without the love of God abiding in us and it's one thing for us to say we love God. It's another thing to say we love one another. It's another thing, amen, to talk about what we love. Hallelujah. But God ain't interested in what we got to say. God's looking for a people, hallelujah, who will demonstrate glory to God. In this season, God's looking for demonstration. And I had to repent, elder, amen, because I ain't always walked in love, glory to God. And the truth of the matter is, amen, many of us, amen, if it had not been for the Lord, glory to God. God is calling for the people of God, hallelujah, to demonstrate what love looks like. I'm, 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 it's in my spirit. The, a bishop always told us, hallelujah, hallelujah, use words if you have to. Other words, we can love folk, amen, and we never have to say a mumbling word. And they'll know that our love is genuine. They'll know the authenticity of our love. Hallelujah. Because, amen, you can tell the fake from the real. When you've touched the realness of God, you know what fake look like. Come on, Holy Ghost. Yeah, when you've touched the realness of God's love, you know what fake love looks like. You know what it feels like. Can you say, I know we got some witness in the house. You real quiet, I ain't mad. But there's some folk who can testify. I know what fake love looks like. Come on, Holy Ghost, don't sit there like, you know, I like, I don't act like I'm the only one. Amen. I know, glory to God, what fake love looks like. I hear God saying this morning, amen, what we need in the world, hallelujah, is God's authentic love. And if Jesus is on the inside of you, it's in you. We have to decide when we're going to allow it to be demonstrated and stop picking and choosing who we're going to love. Come on, Holy Ghost. In this season, God is calling for the real people of God to stand up and declare hallelujah but I'm going to love God's way 1 Corinthians 15 13 through 19 read it like this but if there be no resurrection of the dead then is Christ not risen and if Christ be not risen then is our preaching vain 
and your faith is also vain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we are found false witnesses of God, come on, Holy Ghost, because we have testified of God that he raised up Christ whom he raised not up, if so be that the dead rise not. For if the dead rise not, then is not Christ raised. And if Christ be not raised, your faith is vain. Somebody shout fake. If Christ is not raised, amen, our faith is fake. Then, wait, 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 let's go back to 17. Look here. Then he said, and if Christ be not raised, your faith is vain, and you are yet, come on, look, in your sin. Then they also which are fallen asleep in Christ are perished. And if this life only we have hope in Christ, we are all of men most miserable. I said, God, what, what, what are you saying? What are you saying to us this morning? And my friends, I, I just want to echo what Paul's sentiment is here. Verse 19, that if in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men most miserable. There is a resurrection. There is a king coming back for his bride. There is a savior, hallelujah, that's coming back for his church. And we're walking around here living as though, amen, that everything they said about Jesus, hallelujah, didn't take place or ain't real, hallelujah. And I'm here to tell you, amen, if that's what you're believing, your faith is fake. Now, we can't say we love God. This is talking about the salvation. This is talking about the coming of the Lord. But, but God is dealing with us right here in the present. In the reality, the reality is, amen, that we've got we've to demonstrate and act like he's coming back for his people. And we shouldn't want anybody to be left behind. I don't care what they look like. I don't care what they smell like. I don't care how they act. I don't care what's going on in their life. I don't care if you like them or you don't. Hallelujah. We ought to want everybody saved. We ought to want everybody saved, walking in unity and in the love and peace of God. Too many around the world, in our country, in our states, in our cities, in our communities, our families, even in our churches, are living without hope. Living without hope. We're in this season uh, that we've had thousands commit suicide since January the 1st. And these are people, for the most part, who say they believe in God, and yet they're living, hallelujah, sitting on the pews of every church and synagogue around the country without hope. Ah, and here we are. Sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost. Believing and receiving. Waiting on the Lord. And I hear God saying this morning, now listen, 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 don't get mad at me. Oh, speak, speak Holy Ghost. Have your way. Have your way, Holy Ghost. I hear God saying, amen. What you waiting on? We just declare we're going to wait on the Lord. What you waiting on? Hallelujah. While you're waiting, we ought to be loving one another. Why, 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 why are we waiting on the Lord? Amen. We ought to be about serving God's people. We ought to be about serving our community. We ought to be concerned about social justice. We ought to be concerned about the mass shootings happening all around the world. We ought to be concerned, amen, that young people, 10, 12, 13 years old, are ready, are ready to kill themselves rather than to live among fake people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we got titles. T 
towels. We all dressed up looking good, amen. Talking about how much we love the Lord and folk are dying all around us. Dying all around us. I heard my elder say the other day, we were talking about all the mass shootings and the beat down that happened with Tyree Nichols, how they beat him down, a dog. My elder said, he said, Pastor, I wonder if the people of God realize how much we beat people down. Oh, well, we, we, we beating people down. Ah, oh, we we beating them down with the word of God. We beating them down, amen, with our faith. We beating them down, amen, because they ain't like us. We beating them down because of how they look. We beat them down because, amen, of where they go to worship. We beat them down. We don't want to have nothing to do with folk, amen, that ain't like us. And I hear God saying that I'm not in that. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. If God loved the world enough to send his only begotten son to come see about us, hallelujah, how can we not be concerned with the people of the world that's dying all around us? We need an encounter. Somebody say a new encounter. Yeah, you know, I know some folks say, I know he's going to come back and preach what Bishop said. Oh, you, you got that right. Yeah, you, you got that right. But see, what you, what you missed or what you missed for those of you that's trying to critique me, come on, Holy Ghost. What, what, what you miss, amen, it ain't what Bishop got because what Bishop got, he got it from the Lord. God deposited in his spirit to deliver to the house and the people of God. And so we echo the sentiments of our bishop like we echo the sentiments of those who went before us in the word of God. I am what I am because of the grace. Come on, Holy Ghost. I hear, I hear God saying, thanks to God, we, 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 got to, we got to stop, we got to stop repeating what the world is saying and speak what the word of God says. All this stuff that's going on in the world, it don't catch God off by surprise. He said, I know what's going on. I see what's happening. Amen. He said, but still, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And we just patty cake it. We patty cake. You know why? You know why we patty cake? I'm on. Can I just go ahead and keep it real? Can I, somebody said, keep it a hundred. Can I keep it? Can I just keep it? We patty cake because we really don't believe it. No, we really don't believe that God is able to do what we need God to do in our life. And some of us have become settled in our spirit, satisfied with mediocre, satisfied, amen, the way things has always been. We say stuff like, it ain't going to never change. He, 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 my, he, God can't do nothing with him. God can't do nothing with her. And my, my, and my statement to you, my friend, for those of you watching, amen, because I know ain't nobody like that sitting in the sanctuary, but those that might be watching, amen, somebody said the same thing about you. And not only did they say it, they still saying it. And they still believe, amen, that it's just a matter of time. That you're going to succumb, you're going you're gonna to succumb, come on, to your weakness, to your sickness. God's word ain't doing it. God, that's why folk don't believe. Because they don't see evidence in the church. They see us acting like the world. They see us talking like the world. They see us believing like the world. And God is saying that in this season, hallelujah, he was serious when he said we're going above and beyond. He was serious when he said, amen, this is the season, hallelujah, that God's going to do great and wonderful things. He's going to do miraculous things in your life. God says this is the season, glory to God. And we sit around patty cake.
folk get saved, we ought to shout the doors off this church. Young people walk up in this house. We got young people walked up in this house this morning. We ought to be blessing the name of God for them. We ought to be thanking God. Amen. Because what that tells us, amen, they still have hope. They still have hope. Even though they see us falling. Even though they see us, hallelujah, slipping and falling, dipping and dabbing. Come on, Holy Ghost. I like what the elder said. Elder, you, 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 you need to be careful where Elder, where Elder Craig goes. Okay, wherever you are. You need to be careful, Elder Craig, when you sing that song because when you, when you say, that when my enemies come up to eat, of my, eat my flesh, they stumbled and fail. You here today because some folk God and had some enemies stumble and fail and didn't allow them to do what they set out to do in your life. Yeah, yeah, let me, I'll go ahead and praise God for you. Amen. You don't... You, God has kept you. And there's some enemies after you, amen. God has tripped them up that they can't do what they thought they were going to do in your life. Somebody ought to give God praise right there, glory to God. Yeah, they stumble and fail. Hallelujah. But because God is doing something miraculous in your life. And so God is looking for a new encounter from his people that we might walk in greater intimacy with God. My friends, the resurrection of Jesus, Paul is talking here in chapter 15. Uh, he's reminding us that the resurrection of Jesus from the dead was a fact. There were actual eyewitnesses who had seen Jesus alive after the resurrection. Paul himself said uh, he had seen him. And, and I don't know about you, but when you read Acts 9, 1 through 30, you find out, you realize, amen, that there is no other explanation for the phenomena of Paul's radical change of life. He was killing Christians. He was putting them in prison. He was killing Christians. He was dogging the saints. Amen. And God radically changed his life. I got news for you, family of God. We ain't got to look far back at Paul and all them. Amen. Just look at ourselves, glory to God. Hallelujah. You know darn well, God, hallelujah, radically changed our life. Hallelujah. We was on our way to hell in a handbasket. And God rescued us. He stepped in and saved us and put us on straight street. Hallelujah. And we done been in the Holy Ghost now for some time now. And we getting a little beside ourselves. Come on, Holy Ghost. Yeah, yeah, we, we getting a little beside ourselves now. Amen. Now we want to argue with the teacher. We want to argue. Come on, Holy Ghost. Just talk to me, Holy Ghost. We, we, now we want to argue with one another. We didn't got a title, amen, and now, amen, we think we somebody, glory to God. And I hear God saying, amen, if you ain't cleaning up nothing, come on, Holy Ghost. Yeah, 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 you got, you got the title. Yeah, we slapping the oil on folk, we slapping, look at I'm, I'm ready to pour it too, all day I'm ready to pour it. But look at we slapping the oil on people, and God is saying, but what you doing that for? If you ain't help cleaning nobody up, you, you ain't help, you ain't help, you ain't help watching nobody down. You, you ain't help, amen, changing something. You ain't help ministering to the heart of your people. You ain't, you, you ain't taking time to listen to folk. You ain't taking time, amen, just to be in the presence of God and allow God to speak to you. Hallelujah. Serving Christ is not all about preaching, singing, and doing all those things. Serving Christ is about service. It's about service. And it ain't about serving me and what I want. It's about serving God. Glory to God. Yeah, we ain't serving God. Oh, I don't want to hear nothing about. Uh, don't don't come, come tell me about how many hands how many hands you done laid on folk. Right, go ahead and give God praise, Mama. Go ahead and give God praise. It's about service. Hallelujah. 
service that satisfies the Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, 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 that's about service, saints. That's about service. That's about serving God's people. It's about going over, knocking on your neighbor's door, checking on, amen, your elderly's in the, in the, in the community. It's about, amen, hallelujah, while you out shoveling your snow, go shovel your neighbor's snow. Come on, Holy Ghost. It's about, amen, when you're going out to eat, hallelujah, enjoying yourself, hallelujah, take somebody that you don't like with you. Come on, Holy Ghost. Service that's rendered unto the Lord. God says time out for us. I'm, I'm not talking about us per se, but I am talking about us per se. I'm talking about the body of Christ. It's time out for us just thinking about us. We need a new encounter. The new encounter is to cause us to have greater intimacy with God because the closer we get to him, the closer we ought to want to be to God's people. In this season, we don't have time to be arguing and fussing and mumbling about who's doing what, who's not doing this, who's doing that. It's time out for that, saints of God. It's time for us to lock arms together, amen, hallelujah. We heard the, the man say, we heard elders say this morning, the battle is not ours, it belongs to the Lord. And if that's the case, my friend, we ought to be able to lock arms together, hallelujah, and stand tall one with another and dare the enemy to come, amen, trying to break in to what God is doing in and around our circle. Somebody ought to put your hands together and give God a praise right there. That goes true, saints of God. That goes true for your marriage. That goes true for your relationships. That goes true, amen, for your sons and daughters. Hallelujah. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what the enemy's doing. I don't care, amen, what they said. Hallelujah. God said, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. We're going to pray our children in if it's the last thing we do. We've got... We got issues, we got challenges, we got things going on, and God knows. But God says there's still work you can do to help get your mind off of what you're going through. I dare somebody, amen, before you leave church today, you've been wondering what you can do and how you can help and things that you can, how, how can I be a blessing in the house of God? Amen, we need some, we need some floors washed. Come on, Holy Ghost. We need some toilets washed. We need some sinks wiped down. Well, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't cleaning nobody's toilet now. I ain't doing that. Somebody clean yours. I told my son, I said, well, Daddy, uh, they get, they're getting a little older now, 9, 10, they're going on, they getting a little older now. Now I think they're grown, you know. I said, come on, where are we going? He said, where are we going, Daddy? I said, we're going to the church. Well, I mean, what are we going to do over there, Daddy? We're going to clean the house of God. I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you what community service looks like. I'm going to show you what it means, amen, to serve the Lord. I'm going to show you. See, holding a mic don't mean nothing. Matter of fact, glory to God, if you can't mop a floor, if you can't wipe down a door, if you can't, come on, Holy Ghost. God said, put the mic down. Somebody say, drop the mic. If we can't serve in the house of God, if we can't serve in our community, if we can't walk around, amen, walk, ar walk around the church. How many of y'all came in the church and you saw trash out in the yard today? Don't raise your hand, don't raise your hand, but you saw it. Nah, just wave at me, just nod at me, wink, wink at me, I saw it. If God allowed you to see it, you were supposed to pick it up. If God allowed you to see it, you were supposed to pick it up. But I'm going to tell you what so many folk do in, in the kingdom of God around every church. And it's not our church. It's every church around the world. I'm going to tell you what folk do. It ain't my job to do that. I ain't, I ain't picking that up. That ain't my job. They got elders and deacons and preachers over there. Let, let one of them do it. Amen. 
And you're right, that's, we do have elders and preachers. We got over 30 some preachers and elders and, in this house. And we got a, a probably more than that, amen, to tell everybody around the world that they're that they members of the part of the house. Bishop is my, is my bishop. Say it, bishop. Come on, Holy Ghost. And I hear God say, drop the mic. Drop, drop the mic. It's this time out. It's time out. Look here. Look here. Look here. There is no value in your fake you. There is no value in us pretending to be something that we're not. There is no value, saints, in me acting like I'm holy and righteous and all that. Amen. And I don't want to lift a hand to help nobody. service that satisfies the Lord and we're not talking about service amen so that folk can pat us on the back I tell my son all the time amen it's not about it's not about somebody recognizing you because most of the people that's working in the house of God behind the scenes they never get recognized folk don't even know their name but every time you come up in this church, the church is clean. The bathroom's got toilet paper and hand towels and all kind of stuff, soap and all kind of things. Amen. Somebody's got to clean it up. The lights bills are paid. Amen. Hallelujah. Even though you ain't paid your tithe. Hallelujah. God is still doing great things. Glory to God. And God is saying that if we love him, if we love him, if we love him, just do something. Just, just do something. It shouldn't be the same people all the time here at the church doing 80% of the work, 90% of the work. And that's not just this church, that's every church. I tell my wife, I tell people all the time, they say, well, Everybody, everybody got complaints about the potter's house. Well, you know, they got, they, okay, God says, amen, look at your own house. Because the truth be told, if we look at what's going on in the church house of God's house around the world, it's a great indicator of what's going on in your house. And God is saying to us, we need to walk in the love of God. We need a new encounter that causes us to have a greater intimacy with him. Because if we really love God, we're going to take care of the house of God and the people of God. I know it's hard. I know it's hard. I know it's hard here. I know. I know. I'm, I'm, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know it's heavy. I know it's heavy to hear. And we, we don't like nobody telling us, amen, how bad we are. But I thank God for the Holy Ghost that he would put that in our, in our spirit and, want to, and allow us to share this, amen, because God don't want us to continue walking around here faking. God don't want us faking, acting like, and this, and, this, and this might not be for everybody. This ain't for everybody. But everybody can do better. Everybody can do better. Starting with me. Everybody can do better. Uh, I had my brothers over here, Elder Lonzo Owens and Brother Ebron. They was over here all day yesterday, tearing stuff down, working, cleaning up, and all kind of stuff. Minister LJ working all the time. We got folk in here. We got folk coming in here praying all the time, praying for the people. Minister Janelle in here all the time, two, three hours early in the morning while y'all sleeping. She in here praying, walking up and down this 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 altar, praying and believing God over your life and for your life. You got people every morning getting up at 6 a.m., amen, hallelujah, under a minister, 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 uh, 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 minister LJ, amen, folk are getting up under minister Chelsea, folk are getting up under elder, under elder uh, 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 Baxter, amen, folk are praying for you all the time. Believing God to do the miraculous. And I already know I don't have to follow you around. I know God is being good in your life. God is doing some things in your life, and it's miraculous. <laughs> Hallelujah. 
And so we rejoice, saints. We rejoice that in spite of the mass shootings, in spite of the beatdowns by the police, in spite of the black-on-black -black crime right in our neighborhood. Elder Lonzo and Minister Chelsea are pulling together an evangelistic, evangelistic team to walk these streets. We've had four shootings right here in the Soda Bass within the last couple of weeks. We have folk dying, amen. Let's come together, amen, and walk over there, amen, and let those people know we're not here just for show. Glory to God. I know God got us here for a reason. It's 405417. Yeah, he do. And it's not for us just to sit in between these walls. God is calling for us like we did phase one when we walked around this church and we believed God for a great mighty move of God. That was phase one. Phase two starts, amen, this year, January of this year. Phase two started, amen. We're now starting a building campaign, hallelujah, for you to participate, hallelujah, and bless in the house of God that we can be and do all that God called us to be and do in this community and around this city. Somebody ought to put your hands together, glory to God, for what God is doing. We invite you, amen, hallelujah. Skip a meal. When you go down... You know, some of y'all go out here, y'all spend big money eating, eating. Y'all can't wait to get out here tonight. Y'all going to get, y'all got wings all lined up and everything. Y'all getting ready for the championship game. And I hear God saying, amen, we're in the championship game right here in the kingdom of God. We're in the championship game, amen. We're fighting for lives. We're fighting for souls, amen. We're believing, amen, that God's going to win folk over to the kingdom of God. And we've got to get outside these walls and go get them. They ain't going to come. We got to go get them. Watch this. God came and got you. Yeah, he, he came and got you. He came and got me. We were lost on our way to hell. And God came down through 42 burning generations to come see about you. He came and got us, rescued us, amen. And it's because of what he's done and what he's doing in our life, amen, that we're now sitting in the presence of an almighty God declaring, amen, the goodness of God's word, hallelujah. And God says that the same way he came to get us, he want to use us, amen, by his Holy Spirit to go get those that are lost. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. All right, I'm coming to a close. I know I'm ready. I'm coming. First Chronicles 16 and 29. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering and come before him. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. When we serve others, family, when we serve the kingdom of God, that's our form of worship. It's another form of worship. Worshiping the Lord in the beauty of holiness. When we love one another and get along with one another, that's another part of our worship unto the Lord. And we're worshiping the Lord in beauty and in holiness. Tell your neighbor, I need a new encounter with God. And for those of you that didn't say it, you're still in disobedience. And we wonder why we can't get from God what we're trying to get from God. See, y'all thinking I'm just saying stuff just to be saying it, but I'm, I'm being led by the Holy Ghost. Yeah, whether you believe it or not, I'm being led by the Holy Ghost. And God says, amen. We need... Okay, okay, watch this. Okay, watch this. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this, amen. And let the shoe, let the if the shoe fit, if the shoe fit, you better wear it. When the bishop was here and the bishop said what I just said, the whole room exploded. I got news for you. It's the same Holy Ghost in the bishop that's in me, glory to God. And the Lord said, tell them I need a new encounter with God. And y'all sitting here like. Now, I'm going to ask you another question. I'm going to ask you another question. Get mad at me if you want to. Get mad at me if you want to. I'm going to ask you another question. 
was that for show when Bishop was here or was it the real thing? What, 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 was that genuine or was that fake? Glory to God. Yeah. yeah what was that? Was that was that genuine or was it fake? There is no value in the fake you. God is calling for us to be authentic in our faith, glory to God. If you can shout when Bishop said, you ought to shout if a child says it. Historic evidence. Historic evidence shows that the story of Jesus Christ is true. Christ was and Christ is. As a matter of fact, John said, Jesus said it this way in John 4, 14 and 6. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father and have an encounter but by me. I'm not just giving words for you to shout hallelujah and say nothing good about me. Ain't no good thing in me. But the word of God speaks for itself. You can't have an encounter with God and don't go through Jesus Christ. Don't know, tell me you love God. Don't be telling me you love God. I give honor to God. I love the Lord. And you hating the brother you sitting next to on the, on the pew. Don't tell me you love God. You love God and you, 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 you just, you just so holy and sanctified. And the pastor, hallelujah, give you a directive. Amen. You look like, look at me like I'm stupid. And I'm up, I'm up all night, all week praying for you. Hallelujah. That God don't kill you. That God don't let your enemies swallow you up. You got folk praying for you all through this church. Folk, uh, seniors, grandmas, and grandpas praying for you, asking God to keep you. And we come into God's house. And we say, just go ahead and declare. Why do we say declare? We declare because it puts the enemy on notice. It puts the enemy on notice. It says to the enemy, I ain't playing. This time, come on, Holy Ghost. I'm not playing. I want a real encounter with the Lord. If you say you believe it, God says receive it. He is not a man that he should lie, neither is he the son of man that he should repent. If he said it, he'll bring it to pass. Hey, send it, to, send it to my, hey, don't send it to my email. Send it to Elder, Elder, Elder Liza. No, send it, send it to me. Send it to Pastor Moss, Pastor Moss, um, 59 at gmail.com. Send it to me. I'll sit down and have a conversation with you. I won't, I'm, won't, I'm just going to reiterate what the Lord said. I need a new encounter with the Lord. And I say I because we make it personal, but that's for all of us. And if we're sitting in this house, I don't care how long we've been saved. I don't care how long and how anointed you are. And what you, I don't care what you got going on, how many degrees you got behind your name. Hallelujah. Every day, we need a new encounter with God. I need him to touch me again. I need him to touch me again. Yesterday's touch is all gone. Amen. I need a new touch. If his grace is renewed daily, he can touch us daily. If his grace is renewed daily, he can touch us daily. The problem is, saints, we're not standing still long enough for God to lay hands on us and clean up our mouth, clean up our attitude, clean up our mindset, 
clean up this flesh clean up amen our will and our desires our lust and our frustration God wants to clean us up because he wants to use us for his glory we need a new encounter with God every day why do we repent daily why do you repent daily we repent daily because we need a new encounter with him daily David says, Lord, give me a clean heart and renew a right spirit in me. I needed it yesterday, and I need you to do it again today. And when we have that kind of encounter, saints, when we have that kind of encounter, then we can declare, we can declare as the psalmist declared. Hallelujah. And Psalms Somebody having church over there. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. Amen. But watch this. Watch what Jesus said. Psalms 121. I'm coming to a close. Psalm 121. One thing, one thing for sure. You won't be able to walk out of here and say you're going to get the word of God didn't go forth today. If you didn't receive anything, it's because you got your fist closed and you got your mouth closed and you mad as hell, and you, you angry, and you mad, and you talk about, boy, I wish I could, I could smack the taste out of my mouth, and I hear God say, oh, let the, let, the, let the praise of the Lord overflow from your lips. Talk about it if you want to. Don't just talk about it. Somebody shout, be about it. be about it. Watch this. Psalms 121. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer my foot to be moved. He that keepeth me will not slumber behold he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep that's why we pray for our Jewish community stop asking questions about well, why are we why are we fellowshipping with the, with the Jews they don't even believe they don't even believe in Jesus Christ it's because of the Jews that we got saved it's because it's because of the Jews that the Gentiles made it in that's why God tells us, amen, even in today's time, pray for Jerusalem. Pray for Jerusalem. They might not believe right now, but if we show enough love, if we demonstrate the heart of God, we don't know what God's going to do. The, the rabbi's daughter said here, she came up to me after service. Some of y'all was already gone. She came up to me after service. We're down in the fellowship hall. They was here two, three hours after, after the service. They still down there laughing, praising God. They're having a good time. She came up to me after service. She said, Pastor, tears in eyes. She said, Pastor, I couldn't contain myself. She said, when I seen the dancers, glory to God, when I seen the dancers giving God praise, she said, when I seen the worship that filled this temple, she said, all I could do was cry because I long to be in the presence of God and have that kind of worship. She says, I thank God. She told her father who was standing right next to me, she says, Abba, she says, Abba, Abba, if we had that kind of worship in the synagogue, I'll be there every time the doors were open. We didn't beat them up with the Bible, but we showed, showed the love of Christ. And they walked out of here, amen. They understood. I said to myself, I told the elders, we don't know how many of them got free because they came in and seen the freedom of our worship. They came in and seen that we honored Jesus, that the redemptive manifestation this is the year that begins. We don't know what God did. They filled up the whole side of the church. Wow. 
And we had an opportunity to show the love of God. And unfortunately, thanks of God, God had his way. One thing for sure, we know God had his way. Because that was a demonstration of God's love. He had his way. But what could God have done? Had we had everybody who comes on Sunday when the bishop shows up? Y'all going to have to bear with me. Amen. I'm going to tell it like it is. Don't, listen, listen. Don't frustrate the grace of God on my bishop's life because you want to be fake one day and don't want to be genuine on the next. Don't, don't come in here talking about you, you come to see the bishop, you're going to praise God for the bishop, and, 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 then, and then when bishop's not here and the Lord is still here, hallelujah, the presence of God is still here, and we don't, we don't want to come, we don't want to listen, we don't want to partake in what's going on, and I hear God saying, hallelujah, that's not God. And that's not love. This is for us to do better. God is saying, ah, listen, listen, there's no value for me in you pretending to be something that you're not. I need you to be genuine. I need you to be real, I think. I need you, amen, to love me whether you got a bishop, whether you got a pastor, I don't, listen, I, if you got to love me all by yourself, I need you to be authentic. We honor God, we honor the Lord, we honor the people of God that God brings into our life, but we don't honor nobody more than we honor God. And my friends, I don't know, listen, listen, I'm going to tell you, if I don't know who I'm talking to, amen, but listen, we don't honor nobody more than we honor God. And if we give a man more praise, we give a man more honor, more loyalty, shame on us, saints of God, because ain't nobody died for my sin but Jesus the Christ. God, I, I told you, I told you, Lord. I told you. I told you. He, you know, he said, yeah, I told you too. I said, yes, sir, you did. Yeah, you did. God is good. God loves us. And he, 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 listen, this ain't, this ain't no beat down. This is, this is, this is correction. This is to help us to be better. Don't you want to be better? I want to be better. I want to be better. I don't want my, I don't want my praise and my, my loyalty to God to be misconstrued. I love my bishop. I sow into my bishop. I try to bless my bishop every chance I get. But I also want to bless my Lord. And I want to bless him more than I bless any man, glory to God, because if it had not been for the Lord on my side, glory to God, So I just hear God saying, this is the season to be authentic. This is the season to acknowledge that what he said in Ephesians 3, verse 20, Bishop shared it with us. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. My friends, I encourage you today, and as you go and enjoy this evening and family and friends, make every effort to live at peace with all men, to be holy. For without holiness, the Bible says, no one will see the Lord. See to it, my friends, that you don't miss the grace of God. Don't allow bitter roots to grow up in you to cause trouble for you and defile many. That's why we've seen all these mass shootings. People got bitterness that's rooted in them and it's growing up in them and they're defiling many and defiling others because of bitterness in their hearts. Allow this new encounter in this new year, 29 days in, to draw you into a greater intimacy with God. Discover this year for those who haven't. God's wisdom to assist you in handling 
your conflicts, conquering your fears, and ridding yourself of stress. Continue to live in a posture of hope. It's my prayer, family of God, on behalf of the Potter's House Dayton International Ministry that God will bless you and forever keep you in his care. In Jesus' name, the people of God said amen, amen, and amen. <laughs> Elder, Elder Ron is going to come. He's going to share with you an opportunity to be saved and extend a hand of fellowship to the church. Remember, if you want to give toward the building campaign, write on, the, on your envelope, building campaign, and whatever you want to give, put it in there, and they'll make sure we get it to where it needs to go to. Let me also encourage you, don't use your tithes and offerings to do that. This, this is requiring a sacrifice from the people of God. Those of you online, you can be in on this too. Hallelujah. Send your cash app building fund. Put it on your, put it on your cash app building fund campaign. Hallelujah. We're just believing God for phase two of this three phase that God has called us to over these next year into 2024. All right? Hallelujah. We love you and we thank God for you. And we pray, amen, that the best team wins tonight. Go Bengals. <laughs>
Amen. If you're here and you need healing today, you need deliverance. Amen. You need peace. The altar is open. Hallelujah. We don't want you to leave out the same way that you came in. Hallelujah. I'm so glad that he did an altar call earlier, but I, I, I don't know if everybody was here when he did it. I don't want you to leave out the same way that you came in. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord in Jesus' name. Come on, give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Everybody ready to give? Amen. Stand up wherever you are. Stand up wherever you are. Everybody got your gifts in your hand? I'm trying to go. Y'all not ready to go? I'm Lord, today. Hallelujah. Some of y'all know y'all couldn't ready to go pick up a chicken order. Come on, Water, man. You turn Stay safe, safe. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord for you today. After we give the benediction, you're going to come up the center aisle, put your gifts in the basket, go out the side aisle. Amen. Hallelujah. Father God, we love you. We magnify you, the gift and the giver. We bless you today, Lord, for what our hearts have heard, our ears have heard, our hearts have felt, oh God. We ask that this word will touch us, that it will minister.